In this screencast, we're going to review the order of operations when uh, solving mathematical expressions and equations. And so here we're going to start here with the original first note. The order of operations for solving mathematical expressions can be remembered by using the acronym BEDMAS. Quite a common acronym. I'm sure you've heard this before. B-E-D-M-A-S. And so number one, first letter is brackets. B stands for brackets. And that's the first thing you should do. Do the brackets and any kind of, if there is brackets, now if it's just a single number in the bracket, you can't do anything with that. But if it's uh, there's some kind of um, uh, arithmetic happening in there, whether it's uh, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, squaring, whatever is in there, do that first. Number two, second letter is E for exponents. And that's who we're going to focus on today is exponents. The uh, third rule, third order doing things in, is you do the division and multiplication. They're both basically the, they're the same grouping here. And you do that from left, start on the left, and go to the right do all the multiplication to the division in that order. That's the third thing. And the fourth and last two letters is the addition. So add and subtract. You do that last. It comes to bed mass and again you start from the left hand side and work your way to the right in any given mathematical expression or equation and uh, do the, that last. Okay, with that said, I have one more one more um, vocabulary word we want to talk about here, and that's the word coefficient. Coefficient is a number which multiplies a power, and generally speaking, comes in front of the power. So if I have an uh, expression like this, two, and there's so so four squared is the power. So there's the power right there. In front of it is a, a 2, in front of the, the bracket there. And, and because there's nothing here, that means it's multiplying. So it's 2 times 4 squared. Well, that 2 is what we call the coefficient. So let's just abbreviate that coefficient is 2. So what, OK, so that's what Tom is. First of all, what you do is you, you do the exponent, and then you would get the answer to that and multiply it by 2. In this case, 16 times 2 is 30. Two. Okay, let's do one other one or two other examples here. If I have negative five, uh, negative three, and that's to the fourth power. In this case here, the coefficient is negative five, not five, but negative five. And uh, one more example. That's just uh, once again change colors here. Let's do um, 7x cubed. Well in this case here the coefficient is multiplying the power and the power here is x cubed. The cubed is on the x is not in the 7 and therefore the coefficient is 7. Okay so I just want to explain that, make sure we understand what a coefficient is before we start here. Here's the first example. This first example has a power multiplied by a coefficient. And so the first thing we do is we do the expo because there's no bracket, well the bracket, there is a bracket, I shouldn't say there's no bracket, there's a bracket, but in the bracket it's just a number. So we can't do anything with that. Uh, so the bracket is, you know, is solved, um, but we have to do the exponent next. So what we do is we square the 3 and we get 9. So it becomes 5 times 9, and then we do the multiplication, and it's just 9 times 5 is 45. And so there's our answer. Ta-da! Done. Okay. This should not be brand new. This should be something you've seen before, I expect. Most of this anyhow. Uh, okay, the next one, there's a bracket. Inside the bracket is just a number. So I don't do anything with that. I just, it's a negative 2. Now I need to do the exponent. And what is being cubed? The negative 2 is being cubed. So I put 10 minus 4. 
and negative 2 cubed. Now that's a coefficient of 4 in front of that, so that's going to be times this cube saying negative 2 is negative 2 is negative 2. That's going to be negative 8, left of 4. And now what do I do? Well, the negative 8 here is being multiplied by the 4, and then there's the 10 subtracting. So I have to do the multiplication next. So I do the multiplication next. So this part next, and I go 4, okay, so 10 minus, 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. And we know that uh, when there's two negatives together between numbers, between two numbers, that these two negatives become a positive. So we guess becomes 10 plus 32 which equals 42. And there is our final answer of 42. Positive 42. Okay. Uh, two more examples and we'll finish this off here still. I should say two is there one at the bottom as well. Um, three. Okay, first thing we do is brackets. Well, nothing, the brackets just has a number in front so we just leave that like it is. And now we do the exponents. So 4 squared is 16. I'm write the rest of it the same. Plus negative 3 squared is going to be positive 9 because a negative times a negative. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And we've done that. Okay, so we've done the bracket exponents. Now we go to divide, multiply. Well, there's a division. It's right in the middle there. So 16 minus 8 divided by 2 is 4 plus 9. And now again, I start from the left, work to the right. 16 minus 4 is 12. And 12 plus 9 is 21. There's the next problem finished. Okay. Now let's go on to the final one here. The final, well, I shouldn't say final, the final uh, equation or uh, expression. And the first thing we do is brackets. Okay, well, we look at the first bracket, and inside the brackets we use bed mass as well. So what's the first thing we do inside this bracket here? There's a bracket there and a bracket there. So uh, the first bracket here, we're going to do the squaring first. So negative 2 minus 15 minus 16 plus, let's do in this one, leave this, write the whole, just so you can see what we're doing step by step here. Okay, so negative 15 minus 16 was negative 31 plus, do the next bracket, 2 plus 3 is 5. And so we got negative 2 times negative 31 is positive 62. 5 cubed is 125. 5 times 5 times 5. And we add those together and we get 187. And that's our final answer, step by step. So try not to skip steps or do too many steps at the same time or you're going to make a mistake. So let's uh, be careful with that. Okay, the last one here is a word problem. Write an expression with powers to determine the difference between the areas of two squares, one with a side length of six and the other with a side length of five. So it's six centimeters, five centimeters. And what is the difference in area? Okay, we need to write an expression for this. So, uh, area. Area of a square is just the side squared. Okay, so the area of the first one, so area 1 equals 6 squared. Area 2 equals the length 5 squared. Length times width. Length and width are the same for both of those are squares. And so that's to find the area. Now the difference, the word difference is a key word here. And so when I ask for the difference, we're talking about subtract. Always means minus. So 6 squared minus 5 squared is going to give us that difference. Difference equals the difference equals 6 squared minus 5 squared. So that's our expression right there. Okay, there's the expression that they asked for. And now to finish off this to get full marks on a test for instance I would 
do, I have to do 30, 6 times 6 is 36, 5 times 5 is 25. Remember, I always do the ed exponents before I do the subtraction. And then I subtract finally at the end, and I get 11. So um, in this case here, it's 11 centimeters squared. Okay. Um, I hope that uh, helps with exponents and with uh, bed mass order of operations.